Welcome back. This is episode two. I'm Olivier Derivière, the composer, and uh, we continue our journey through the music of a Plectel Requiem and all of its secrets. We're uh, starting chapter two, and this chapter is mainly about Lucas. In the first game, uh, we had kids all together, Meli, Lucas, Roderick, and they had this sort of fortress, you know, Chateau d'Ombrage, that um, was their safe place. And there was the music for them over there. And basically, I took the theme. From the first game. And I put it onto Lucas. Because Lucas is sort of the incarnation of all of the kids in the previous places. Uh, but now, you know, we're arriving into the city. And uh, basically, it's not going to be much music at the beginning. Because after this huge emotional bit of the first chapter, it was more about getting something uh, to <laughs> digest, number one. Uh, also, you know, to make player come back to, you know, the reality sure and some beauty as well. Um, well what's funny is like, at the beginning, we didn't want to have music onto and this whole house. beginning. Yes. And then um, the is very old. when Hugo and Amicia and starts, and they start much, again much playing this sort of role playing of, of Hugo is the and king. And of course, it means a lot yes. uh, later in the game. They give us a house. Uh, then we were like, oh, you know what? They're playing again. And let's put back this finning. Here we go. Would his majesty allow us to enter the city by his side? I allow. And for those who have identified it, it's the same music as when they were playing uh, Hide and Seek with the Wrath once again. The Wrath is still there. Go take a quick look with him. Thank you. The house is in the So we're going to move on. So for this part of the game, we wanted this to be very much immersive rather than uh, storytelling. So the amazing sound from uh, the audio team, Orien, Max. From Firenze. Try them. My lady, why not change your hairstyle? Thank you, but I like... I don't know. But that way we could invite each other to our rooms. Yes. Here there's a, a very personal story about the music that you're about to hear. When I was a kid, um, you know, from six to ten years old, this game is happening in the south of France, and this is where I come from. And uh, when I was a kid, uh, we were used to go to learn the the local music with the lyrics, and we were singing into this uh, old French Provençal. Uh, Patrick Rougeau was the teacher, and it's only I don't know, like. 30 more years later, more, 35 years later, that when Aurélien asked me, can you make some music from there? I said, I know exactly the person that can do it for us. And so this is very emotional for me because the music you're listening right now is genuinely performed by real musician, a real musician that is doing Provencal, you know, from Provence music. And he was teaching us this, uh, me and my sister, so. That was something. Yes. Thank you, Patrick, for everything. We'll come back. So this is very immersive and you're inside the city, you're inside, let's say, the, the world now. And the narration for the music has stopped, but you know, silence is narration. They just feel safe here. You will too. And now, when I will drop Hugo, the narration will prepare for Lucas. Hey, I'm going to put you down for a bit. <clears throat> Let's pick up the pace. Yes. I can't wait to see the house. I wonder how big it is. I just hope they have real beds. I hope I can see the market from my room. A king's room, of course. Of course. <laughs> That's the theme. That's the theme of the kids from the first game. That is now Lucas. Hey, you're back. So how was it? They've got so for those who played the first game, <laughs> it's true. they might get the feeling of, oh, sure. I feel home it's here. Lucas sure. is my friend. There is a, a big bound here from this team and yes. um, the previous game. 
And Lucas I said that word in a while. is incarnating. Incarnating. I'm glad we came. <sighs> and I think someone needs now, to. Now the music is waiting for you. You can observe. Sure. And Let's it's just some, you know, warm. It, what's funny though is, as you can see, there are th synth in this um, soundtrack. A lot of them, but those synths are very warm. You know, it's uh, analog synth. And this is something that is all over the place in the game. And I think it gives this sort of bed of uh, warmth and beautiful uh, feeling. You know, you feel you're like into your mom's heart almost. I don't know. And uh, that's the, the sort of this is our door. emotions we wanted to convey. And so now when I will cross the door, Ooh, we'll hear again the theme quiet. from Lucas I'm and the mom. This it's sort of nice. like good feeling theme ready to come inside yes lead the way so once again cutscene we're super home, smooth Hugo. our new home let's take a look around mm. yes all right so, we'll do that later da, 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 mother where's hugo's da, 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 you know is ready thanks come on you sleepy beast so this cutscene was very important for two reasons. Number one, it was to show that, uh, well, Hugo has been triggered. Come and, meet you. Come and listen to the, the voices calling him again. The island. He'll be healed there too. Healed? Now. Well, that would be nice, I'm sure. It will be. And the voices are staying as it was for the dream. He's back in. You're thinking too much. Sometimes. And as the same time, at the same time that Hugo I'm is trying, back to the dream and the trauma and everything on I his own, the logic of it. Amicia so herself, law. you know, the macula does too. Is let's say, Lucas, you just need to be experiencing human. some traumas. Maybe <sighs> flashback. I'm just not very good at being human. You are. This is why you have doubts. No! No! You go! You go! No! The island! And I'll kill you again if I have to! I'll kill you all of you! Amicia. Amicia. And now the call. The Makula. He had a nightmare. The voices. And now the male voices. It's the shock. What happened today must have woken it. We had six months. So now it's very ominous, you know, and you're like, oh, something's wrong is happening, of course. It's a plague tale. Very delicate. And, and go with Lucas. Magister so the discussion with Kevin, Find him and tell game director, was like, okay, so we're going back to the, the village. And he wanted the village to, I mean, the city. We'll he wanted the city to feel very different. And so the idea was to put this sort of like, far away but mainly very scary macula signature because of those farmers i should never oh. it's not your fault how can you so be just so by adding this little in his blood. the macula keeps evolving motives here and there the well, this with bigger and bigger impression really you have the you feeling of like the threat is coming in if they can't i don't know who can lord Protect him. The feeling is totally different now. Of course, the narrative, you know, the, the dialogues and everything are different, but also the mood in the village. Just by adding this layer, you have a sense of threat. Here, a town guard. I'll ask him. Uh, hello? Excuse me. So we'll go faster to get to the arena. We're now through the city. Uh, we've been experiencing all the waves of the macula growing like that. So and now we're entering the arena. The law? Come on. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to hear in the arena is the theme of Lucas in a very low and ominous way. When you see, you know, because he's there and he's explaining everything and you have the same thing. The bite, yes. 
They've locked the arena down. There you go. They let them die here. It's starting all over again. Not starting. Spreading. Hugo. We brought it here. Let's find Magister Voda. So that's the same theme that when He's you meet the first time uh, with Lucas, but now it's I can't believe they left him to rot here. These a little twisted. They must be from the but he's your friend, and we didn't want to put too much of how come nobody noticed let's say horror Maybe. there. Yes. It was more about the relationship, although you have you know you're here. expecting something well, terrible to happen. You think the symbols will lead to him? Yes. Look, an opening up there. There must be a way to climb up. This is a twisted version of Lucas. He knows the bite. He must be avoiding the sick. Lucas, if all these people here were bitten, it means maybe not. A sick person could avoid. Now the music is gonna end, uh, but I can, you know, go quicker. And uh, the transition and. When I get under this um, plank, the thing is, you're going to hear once again the theme of Lucas, Twisted. And now it's the music system. We're going to talk a little bit about the music system. Oh, one thing though. There is also this low tune bike pipes. Because these guys are Arno's guys. I don't know if you played the game. I hope you did. And later in the game, you meet with Arno. Arno is a, a warrior, a soldier, and we used bike pipes for him. You know, this is his color. So the players here don't know yet that this new color that is very far away is Arno. And Arno is playing on top of the Lucas team. So it's like two themes in the same time here. Talk to me. Please. It was the same like percussions as in the first level. Not a single coin. How many are there? If I find him, I could ask for a reward. I'm gonna use this. So it's still the theme of Lucas and Arno mixed up. What did I hear? So once again, if I go close to the guy, the percussions, you know, I need to hurry. All clear. So, any sort of the doctor? <gasps> nothing yet. A doctor? No. So Lucas team with Arno flavor. Shit. So they're after for doctor. They think he's a doctor. Oh, just a look. There is also the, the guitar supporting the cello, so it's more clear. So let's enter the, the big zone, the one when where we're going to stay a little bit longer to explain how the stealth music is acting. Okay, let's enter the arena. And now the big stealth fight system another symbol good but Lucas, if these people fell so ill so there is so much here going on with the music i've seen no signs of attack not yet so number 1 you have the macula in the far you also have arno in the far so macula ten here the arno bike pipe so that's the color of arno but it's very far away because you don't know it's arno uh, but we wanted to give the hint here. It's beautiful. So the system is uh, divided into different section. Here, the macula. So there's a lot of storytelling here, yet you're in a big arena of gameplay. The music is not focusing just on the let's say, gameplay aspect, but keep telling the story. Da -da -da, da -da -dum. That's the bike pipe, and this is the theme of Arno later on. So I'm gonna try to, to make it easy for you to understand. 
now. Okay, so I'm caught. So that's easy, you know about that. Oh, oh. You'll hear that the closer the guard, the bigger the cello and the bigger the drums. Uh, I guess he's gonna see me. Get it together. Okay. All right, th there is a good spot here where you can hear how the music will sort of change because I will hide in here and as the guard will come by, listen how the music will change. Go away. Uh oh. I saw something. Gotta be sure. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so let's do it. So now I'm caught. So there is one system when you get caught, is like if they don't see you, the music. Oh, damn it. Calm down, but it's still. Maintaining the tension. Does he know? So the tension is here. And now... They're, they're trying to find me. So the tension's still here, but... Going away little by little. Okay, they're still after me. See how the music is disappearing as they lose track of me? Oh, oh. If there is percussions, it means... And now, that's part of the new system. Previously, in the first game, when they find you, like at least see you and you're hiding, they go back to their, let's say, routine idol, but in this game, now that they saw you, they're still finding you. So the music has changed as well. Now there is more like dun 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 dun. The cellos are more uh, uh, driven. You still have the bike pipe, but it's different. Oh, so I know there is someone close by. Okay, so he should be over there. Oh my god, this is scary. See, there is no bass drum, so I know there's nobody. Oh my god. You see how the big cellos are growing? Could be over there. Okay, it's far enough. So everything is meant to both telling the story and give you feedback. And sensation, like, ooh, I can feel something is very close or not. Um, it would have been easier if I had, like, the, the cheat codes as when I'm developing the game. Oh, my God. Someone's not <laughs> We've got trespassers. Search the yeah! trespassers. Yeah! Search the area. We've got trespassers. Search the area. Yeah! 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 See, I'm still not caught. I'm still not caught. Damn, I'm caught. Oh, no. All right, so I don't know. I will go this way this time. See how the music like sort of reacts? Oh my god. see me anymore now they do the music is back you see so you don't want when you're hiding you want to know what's their situation and thanks to the music you're like okay right now I know that they know now I know they don't know where I am it's 
So if I stay hidden like this, there you go. And the music will switch. Like that. I'm like, okay. This game is tense. Oh my god. Thank you, percussions. And finally, I can reach the end. Yes, we made it. We did. Ooh. So as you could see, the music is very organic in some ways, like following every step of the players, trying to give them as much information as possible to know where's the enemy, what is the status of the enemy, what is, you know, if they see you, if they don't see you, if they're after you, not after you, lots of details, but never compromising the fact that there is the story and in the back. So you had, once again, the theme of Arno, you know, you have the Macula as well. So everything that is, uh, let's say, to told was very important. And now we have a, you smell that. a more, what is, what is this place? you know, plague tale bit with all these deads. I think they used to live here. No wonder and hear the music. This I one. Can't get used to it. You don't have Is the wrath. Macula. I do it faster. But it's very slow. Because Amicia has this in her. And watching to all of those dead people triggers her, you know, trauma and, you know, she, she's mentally heal, ill. Please tell me this is it. So that, that was um, very important for us to have those bits of like remind the players that Amicia is not feeling well. Now we're going to have the big vista. Oh, Lord. It's a whole city. The symbol. He's in that. It's a macula. Has to. Lucas crossing this. And the, the huge <laughs> ch uh, chase with the rats. When the chase happens, most of the time, um, we didn't want the music to be front end uh, because the music goes like, you know, Eric Maria Couturier, the cellist, was doing an amazing job. Uh, but, you know, the sound of the rats and Aurelien and his team, you know, what they've made, created like the, the sort of rumble and waves and uh, had to be prominent here. So this is why um, the priority was over the, the sound effects rather than the music. I mean, here it's more about the music, very tense. We know exactly what's going to happen, like this. And the big fall. So this is uh, illustrative music now. There's the macula coming in. And now you have the rats slow. Very slow. For some people that didn't play the first game, game, they don't know that this is the rats sort of motive. And now that they're out, it's four times faster, I think. Right here. So the big chase happens. First one, very impressive. Amazing job. That's amazing. Kudos to all the programmers of the game. So now we have this uh, rats theme. And the thing is like, you can hear like the squeaking of the rats. 
is also the squeaking of the cello. And there is these parameters that, you know, the closer you get to them, the bigger the, the little cello squeak. Like, so, listen to this. We must! Let's go, Catherine! I knew it! I told you they were here! There are millions of them! How? How can there be so many already? Hugo, they're here for him! So that's for the rats, let's move on. Let's go, quick! So when you're up and free from the rats, Higher ground. the low cello goes away, but... Need to take a breath. Breathe fast. We I kept the small ones. Fast. That's the cellos right now. So that's not a sound design. I mean, it's it's a sound design made by an instrument. Acoustic. No effects. Really? A beam? It's the only way. It will be. A little further, we have no more music. Because once again, sometimes the best music is no music. Oh no! We're going down again? We are. It's a joke. No. And Hugo's condition gets worse with every second we spend here. Your mother is with him. He should be fine. No rats? No, but they were here not long ago. Look at these bodies. Fresh. Eventually we reach this uh, big puzzle. And uh, here the music is uh, Lucas' theme, again, very slow. And we didn't want the music to bother you, but to have no music like this to make the puzzle would feel a little bit too empty, maybe. And just to have a tiny music to illustrate this time with substance, it's Lucas, so that's the theme of oh. Lucas. Was good. What is that? Rails in the walls. It looks like an elevator. Da, 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 da. That's the theme of Lucas. That smell. I know it. It's sulfur. It's a smithy. A crank. Let's see what it does. I'm going to need you. Sure. Do you hear that? Now when the rats come in, we can hear the cello. The rats cello. No, no. Listen. Look at the platform. The brazier. It looks big enough to light the whole room. How do we set it on fire? Hear it? I don't know. Salt and the macula. Sulfur, alcohol, whatever we can find. So once again, everything, you know, Lucas' team, the rats, the macula, everything is there. And I'm close to the rats, so I hear them, but look, if I'm far away, I don't hear the rats. I'm going there. There you go. And once again, this is the cellos. It's not the, the sound of the rats, it's the squeaking of the cellos. It's Eric Maria Couturier doing its magic. So now I'm gonna go fast to the puzzles. Time to get that lift down and get the hell out of here. All right, Lucas, I'm there. I'm waiting for you. Go. It's working. I can't believe it. Okay, the puzzle is done. And uh, now we're going to move on for the music to something a little bit. Um, this is it. On your word. I don't know if it's joyful. Go. <laughs> it's uh, like an achievement uh, in some ways for Plague Tale. It's never super happy. So we're going to up the elevator. How did we do the music switched to the synth once again. Warm, warmth. <laughs> it's starting again. So okay, I'm about to exit now. The music will switch, and uh, I mean this music is once again yes, about their the journey. Tower. We got a bit closer now. A bit. That's the but theme of Amicia, uh, the Darun. Da 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 I see no sign of those mercenaries. Let's hope it doesn't mean they found them. The music here has more a role of putting some progression for the players. Like, it's moving on, you've done this right, it's good. Now, because of the, the narration, we can't go into a completely joyful what are you doing here? Uh, mood. Hugo will love it. I'll keep it there. You right know, the, it suits you. the reminder of, Lu of Hugo. Let's keep going. And now, 
I mean, if you stay around here in this neighborhood, there is, you know, extra music for those who are uh, patients. Patient, not patients. Like this, like. Yeah. That's Nick and Harpa here. Previously, it was Viol de Gambe. Okay, guys. I mean, <laughs> as much as the game is in easy mode, I'm I'm spoiled. I'm too used to having um, cheat codes. <laughs> What's wrong? Now listen. Vodanison were in here. We did it. Those last months on the road. After all that happened in Guyenne. Hugo was always worried that it would start all over again. That's the wrath. But everything was so nice and quiet. And so I told him that maybe it was over. That the worst was behind. Oh, are we going to tell him now that the rats are back? That the rat has killed hundreds? Again. And this new home that he likes is already dying. I'm not ready for this. No one could be ready for this. But soon we won't be alone in it anymore. We'll have the best alchemy. So it's spot. going up, 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 like this sort of despair, like it's hope and despair at the same time. Good. But Lucas is here to help her, and you know she takes now look the best. So a real order lodge. Now the guy, the, the the players who did the first game, we recognize that this is the colors for the alchemist. If you play the first game, you know this. That's an entrance hall. How do we get upstairs? I see. That's all of them, I think. Yes. Oh look. That Puzzle down. Cool. Done. It's so archaic. Good work. So now Let's we're gonna meet with Vodin. Once again, transition from gameplay to cutscene. Feed. Since might be very surprising if you tell somebody that synths have been used in a medieval a game, but I'm pretty sure right by now daughter. you're used to it. That explains why those brutes downstairs are so quiet. Now listen. The Order was quite impressed by the way you put down the Inquisition in Guyenne. Well, I didn't have a choice. Not a choice. A calling. That of a carrier's protector. There you go. A what? A protector. The theme of Your the rune. function among the order. Wait, I'm not. And you are? I'm Lucas. I'm an alchemist too. An apprentice. Does your magister know you entitle yourself? Who cares? The macula's woken up again. My brother needs your help, and the rats are already there. Control your flame, protector. Others have so burned. That's the theme it. of the Darun. Take my bag. Let's and go see that. Cat. The last shot was so good. Listen. That's the island, and we wanted to, you know, stop there on the island, like the this feeding. Um, that stays and stays and stays, and stays. It's upstairs. Listen. How are you doing? The call is there, you know, he's being I'm called, scared. he's being called. Hugo, this is Magister Voda. Hello. So this is uh, the end of the chapter. Immediately. It was to me interesting to see how the I themes like sound. Lucas theme, the Macula Mother. and Arno oh, was there were there. But also uh, to see how the music system in the stealth and fight works with the different ways of being caught, not being caught, being close to the enemies, being you know away. Um, lots of different um, layering. I mean, it's 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 a full matrix. And then you know what happens is that although it's a system, it's still part of the narration. Thank you for watching. See you on the next episode. Hopefully, have a good one. Bye.